When you get your SNPs test back, it will appear to be in some sort of secret language. We'll use MTHFR as an example to explain how to read this code. SNPs are spelled out by the number position they are on the gene and by the various combinations of the letters G, A, T, and C. These letters stand for guanine, adenine, thymine, and cytosine. The two most common gene mutations or SNPs for the MTHFR gene are C677T and A1298C. Let's start with C677T. A normal unmutated gene is called C677C. This means at the 677th position on the gene, there are two cytosines. A mutated gene is called C677T. Notice that one of the cytosines has been replaced with a thymine. This one small change is enough to impair its functioning. There are two copies of each gene, one from your mother and one from your father. If you have one mutated copy, it's written as C677T plus minus. If you have two mutated copies, it's written as C677T++. The more mutations you have, indicated by the plus signs, the worse your function in that area. C677T- has no loss of function. C677T++ has a 40% loss of function. C677T++ has a 70% loss of function. The other MTHFR gene mutation is called A1298C. A normal unmutated gene is called A1298A. A mutated gene is called A1298C. Notice that one of the adenines has been replaced by a cytosine. Again, this one small change is enough to impair its functioning. If you have one mutated copy, it's written as A1298C plus minus. This results in a 20% loss of function. Two mutated copies, A1298C plus plus, this has a 40% loss of function. It's also possible to have one mutation on both genes. C677T plus minus and A1298C plus minus will result in a 50% loss of function. It's rare, but possible to have three mutations, such as C677T plus plus and A1298C plus minus. This results in a 70% loss of function. It's extremely rare to have four mutations. There are only 50 reported cases worldwide. C677T++ and A1298C++. This results in an 80 to 100% loss of function. Sadly, these individuals have severe health impairments. Mm -hmm.